I'm just the local yokel who's helping. Perfect perpendicular, perfect parallel. He's a perfect change that is enough so that it's not perpendicular and parallel. Okay. We've also got to be very honest in this. Roots. So we can't just take this and put it out to the side and say, well, now we're going to make a bonus out of it. That's not the way it works, right? Because then you get to apply that to the option. You're learning about that option. So we're learning all about that on the rest of it. No parallel lines. We're going to change that. The first day was my talk, but today, let me talk. <laughs> now, here's where we're going to want to practice, right? on that yeah. and bend yeah. that yeah. forward yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. So that's just by hand. I, I, I can hold it. I can hold it here. I think it's, I think it's, it's slow. It's going to go back, but do we want to then run a uh, guy wire from here up to here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that softened up a lot. Look at a Tell me if you want to bend any further.
Now you need more or you got enough? Right, so you can never get profession on your first cut. So if your first cut sits like this and you've got room, you take that out and take that out and take that out. So big room. And you don't have confidence that this is going to work. You're dealing with a living thing that has a lot of times so an agenda of its own. Before I just want to show so this one, like but now greater, greater, uh, uh, I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. Can you pay the clock quite off center? Which is what a very small yeah. environment yeah. would do. And that's why when people start yeah. talking yeah. about building yeah. greenhouses yeah. and building yeah. structures yeah. and yeah. environments yeah. for trees, it's very important to understand uh, the larger the environment. And there were a few very, very significant Sierra Junipers that I collected and I brought them home when I was in college and I was poor. Okay, so you go buy some bamboo sticks and you buy some painter plastic and you make a temporary lean-to shelter against the fence in the backyard. And you make it as small as possible because uh, you don't want to occupy too much space and you've got seven other roommates or something like that. <clears throat> and that Sierra Juniper grows great in that little shelter there. And uh, the week after you've moved it out, you can develop this a lot quicker, and maybe with uh, a structure that's going to lead to a better product over the years at the natives right. than other people can. Right? And so to set that material on the right path and then put that in the hands of people who have the capacity to continue to develop it, that is something that I really enjoy doing. But I like I like to make the trees. You know, I like I like to, to build them into a finished or a, a showable piece and be sort of the initiator of that process for that tree. Yeah, oh no, yeah, yeah, maybe that just definitely no. You can write your schedule for you. An oval container would probably feel just a little bit too feminine. Assume <laughs> that you're going to be able to reduce this root by 33 percent. There is no way that an excessive amount of roots or the entire root is that tip. It's already been severed once. Huh? Right? Okay. Separated again and reduced by 37 percent allows you to put the tree into its final Take for me the photograph. <laughs> yeah. For my record. Take it off. No. In a straight I know. Just the side of this just, just okay. Do the same from <laughs> the back so that we can brace it. It wants to huh? leave it for now. Yes, leave it for now. It can continue. Mm -hmm. But if you brace 